Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this After Effects logo animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So, if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects as always let's create a new composition we will call it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 and duration is 20 second long and background color is white color and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title selection press ctrl y to create one solid background layer and i am going to choose let's say somewhere around like this and hit ok hit ok and let's lock this layer then uh first of all we will select my logo and i'll bring this over here press s for scaling option and scale it at appropriate size like this okay so we will get something like this now select this logo and now we need to create some pop-up animation for it first so first of all press p so create uh, select this right click and choose separate dimension we will create one keyframe at y position then we will go to around let's say 20 frames and we will move this thing over here then we will go to around one second and or let's go somewhere around uh, 1.10 frames go to the align tab or you can simply copy this first keyframe by hitting ctrl c ctrl v then go to 10 frame forward and create another keyframe and in middle of that i'm going to bring this over here then go to the start select this press s create one keyframe uh, hit u go over here and or you can go over here and create another keyframe then go to the start and let's make this value 10 or uh, let's say somewhere around 2 maybe looks good yeah okay so if you see we will get something like this now select those position keyframes i mean y position keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here this handle should be over here select this and this handle should be over here okay zoom in a little bit select this by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here this handle over here select this and move this handle over here let's try to adjust this one also okay so if you see this animation now you will get something like this okay then after that press r for rotation create one keyframe hit u go to the somewhere around over here and let's make this one complete rotation so if you see you will get something like this okay and if you think this is quite uh, fast so let's select this one only and by holding alt i'm going to increase the size of i mean duration so if i see this i'll get something like this now if you think the duration is quite long so all you need to do simply select all of them and by holding alt you can adjust the duration up to one second also like this and let's move this to somewhere around over here i think this looks good and then press f4 and enable this motion blur and now along with this animation you will get this motion blur okay so this is our logo animation which is ready and now we will focus on our different work so let's select this and hit ctrl d select this and hit u and let's delete all the keyframes we don't need that at least for now and now let's make this duration zero i mean rotation zero and now i'm going to select this i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'll search for fill effect and i'll double click to apply then i'll go to the start and now i need this color over here so i'll select this and i'm gonna pick up this color okay like this then i'm going to select this i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it i'll select this one i'll press s for scaling option and let's make this 15 and with the help of this picker this time i'm going to pick up this color so i'll get something like this okay so this is for this let's hide this third layer and you can change the color of this one to yellow so you can understand that this is my logo animation there okay so this is uh, like that now select this one and or we select this second one which is at the background and let's make it apparent with this one okay select this one press s and let's try to adjust the scale up to 10 frames now i mean 10 uh, unit and now select this and press p we will create one keyframe at y position we will go to around 20 frames we will create another keyframe then we will go to around one second and we will create another keyframe 
then go to the start and let's bring this y position upward like this and uh, after that in middle of that i will move this thing over here select those keyframes and hit f9 then go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'll move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here oops i think we did mistake we will select this one and by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and this handle over here select this zoom in move this handle over here and this handle over here this one should be over here select this and this one should be over here so uh, we can adjust this like this so if you see we will get this kind of falling animation for this box okay and if you think this height is quite uh, you know uh, up so you can adjust that also so if i see i'll get something like this then after that i am going to select both the layers and i'll press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and i'm going to call it as one or you can name it whatever you want and simply hit ok so now if you see this stuff you will get something like this now this uh, we know that this animation is ending at one second so now i'm going to select my pen tool and over here we need to create some mask so from here to here we will draw one line and then uh, we will light here and close this over here or uh, let's try to move this over here so we will get this kind of line now select this and hit ctrl d press m select this first one press m and let's make this inverted so this is the portion which is at the back and this is the portion which is over here okay so let's try to do animation stuff so first of all let's select this and press p for position uh, and we need to animate the position property but before that we need to adjust the anchor point so i'm going to select my pen behind tool and make sure that you are selecting this layer which is at the up and select this anchor point and we will try to adjust it over here like this okay and if you see you can still see this middle line so if you want to adjust that then you with the help of down arrow keys you can move this over here like that okay so we will get this kind of stuff so let's see this now yep we'll get something like this or what i'm going to do i'll go over here i'm selecting both of them and press alt close bracket i mean open bracket trim this out like this then select this hit ctrl d select this third one and let's increase the duration again go to the start and we are going to delete the mask for this one we don't need that okay so we'll get proper i think be like this then we will select this one and we will press ctrl shift d to split this stuff because from now onwards we need to animate this po two divided uh, you know portions so let's select this first one and you guys know that the anchor point is over here so let's create one keyframe at position then go to around 20 frame forward and we will bring this stuff over here like this now select those keyframes and let's hit f9 okay so first we will get this then this okay and now we are going to select this one and we will make it apparent with the second layer which is this one so now let's select uh, this layer press r for rotation create one keyframe then go over here and let's try to rotate it like this okay similarly i'm going to select this first layer i'll press r for rotation create one keyframe go over here and let's try to rotate it like this okay and hit u select all the keyframes and let's hit f9 so if you see you will get something like this but uh, we need this rotation animation a little bit later so i'm going to select this rotation layer keyframes and i'm going to move them over here like this okay so first we will get this split and then we will get this rotation and if you want you can select this and you can rotate it like this then after that go uh, somewhere around 15 frames or let's say somewhere around over here and let's rotate it like this okay and select this one and let's uh, rotate it like this okay so if you see you will get something like this now let's select those rotation keyframes 
and now uh, if you want then you can hit f9 again to remove any graph editor animation then go to the graph editor i am going to select let's say this graph and by holding shift i am going to move this handle over here and let's see how does it looks like this okay select this and let's move this handle over here then i'm going to select this by holding shift i'll move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so let's see i think this looks weird so let's select this and hit f9 again and now let's select this by holding shift i'll move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here okay and then select this uh, let's select this and move this handle over here and select this and move this handle over here so if i see i'll get something like this i think this much looks good so first i'll get this animation then this animation then after that i'm going to select this layer i'll press ctrl shift d to split this layer and then i'm going to hit u and now let's delete this parenting and now we will delete those keyframes also then i'm going to select this i'll press ctrl alt home uh, to align that anchor point to the center then we will create select this position right click and choose separate dimension then create one keyframe at position one keyframe at rotation like this then go somewhere around four seconds select this and change the x position over here and at this point i'm going to select this and i'll change the y position over here like this okay and go over here and change the rotation to one okay so if you see you will get something like this but we don't want rotation like this so over here uh, let's make this zero and let's make this minus one rotation like this so if you see we will get something like this but this animation looks quite weird so we need to adjust this y position graph so select those y position keyframes and hit f9 then we will go to the graph editor i'll select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here this handle over here select this move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here like this okay and if you think uh, this animation is quite slow then you can adjust that also let's rotate it a little bit like this and then select those keyframes and by holding alt i'm going to move this over here like this let's move this over here so if you hit play you will get something like this then after that i'll select this layer and we need uh, this should gain its original position so i'll make it zero over here like this so if i see this animation i'll get this then this and over here if you see this slicing we will need to adjust the graph for this one also so i'll hit f9 first for that and then i'll go to the graph editor i'll select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so we will get that smoother thing over here okay so first this and then this and now uh, i want a little bit cut should go from here to here so for that i'm going to select my pen tool and from here to here i'm going to create one line and let's change the color of this one to let's say something around like this one only and just a little bit of something lighter like this okay so let's select this uh, let's go few frame forward somewhere around like this and let's move this over here go to the add menu and choose trim path go to the trim path let's make this zero in each. sorry uh, let's make this start value 100 create one keyframe and one keyframe at the start let's try to hit page down button few times and we will make this end value zero and uh, zero and start value also zero and we will select this end property and let's move this a little bit forward so if you see you will get this kind of cut like this and if you want then select this and move this line up to here then select this and uh, select you can select with the help of this point and move this over here so if you see you will get something like this select those keyframes and hit f9 to easy is those keyframes like this okay so first this and then we will get something like this okay. 
okay so we will get this animation and then this animation over here okay then hit u select all of this stuff and press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and i'm going to call it as part one and hit ok then hit ctrl d right click go to the time and uh, go to the freeze frame then simply move this stuff over here then go to the effect and presets panel and search for pixel poly effect and double click to apply and i'm going to select this second layer i press ctrl shift d and i'm going to split it out okay so we'll get this kind of you know breaking animation so now we need to do certain settings so first i'm going to make it 200 and let's uh, grid spacing choose 15 like this and change the force center somewhere around over here like this let's make this grid spacing 8 so we'll get some more stuff and also direction randomness increase the value let's grid spacing 3 like this okay and gravity let's choose 0 0.7 like this okay and then i'm going to enable my logo animation layer over here and i'll uh, simply bring this stuff over here i will need this change should start animated at this point so if i see this stuff from the start i'll get this and then this okay and this is how you can create simple and create your go logo animation and it's not just after effects you can choose any logo and with the help of this technique you can animate any kind of logo if you want so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this, then check out these two videos. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, stay tuned.